I think the whole decision of coaching came so suddenly, but I'm so glad I started. Uh, it feels so good to be able to use all the experience that you know I've added out throughout these years and to give it back to the players from Goa. Because um, honestly speaking, I've seen a real growth since the last uh, five years. Uh, suddenly there's a boom in the number of coaches, the number of academies, the number of players. Suddenly I noticed for the first time there are less coaches than the players and this is a very new problem we are facing Absolutely. now in Goa. But it's a good problem and a good, a good start for uh, the you know, tennis future in Goa. Lots of events also happening. This is a new edition, uh, DBB, Panjim Gymkhana Open. Uh, your time, uh, hardly any events were there. So, how can the youngsters, you know, uh, look to uh, take to tennis? Uh, what would be your advice? Uh, I think it's important for uh, our government and our tennis fraternity to start encouraging uh, tournaments like these because by players just practicing in an academy, it's not going to help out much. They will learn the sport, but they will not be able to use it in uh, a tournament. But the more tournaments that are conducted gives players a chance to, uh, you know, bring their practice game to the match, which makes it more competitive, more challenging, and that's why more fun. So I think in the, for the first and foremost is we need to have a proper state ranking list because that is the start for players to, you know, see that, okay, if I play this tournament and win these points, my ranking is going to go up. So it's an encouragement. It's kind of a, a good incentive for players to work towards something. Once that starts, uh, you know, we have players ranked who can then participate in national tournaments. They can start playing for the Indian team. Like, I think when I was playing, I was like the only Goan in the entire ranking, the in, entire Indian ranking. So as we have more Goans, uh, you know, playing the Indian circuit, we can go travel together as a team. We can have a traveling coach from Goa. We can play for Goa. So it makes a world of a difference to have a ranking in place now and start uh, conducting more tournaments for our players. Yeah. Uh, when we look at uh, Goa, most of the people are playing for football uh, rather than cricket. And next we saw this uh, tennis, badminton. So uh, last days uh, you should have to look at the youngster, how to promote for uh, tennis. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, the thing about tennis is it's always looked to as an expensive sport, a sport which prestigious, you know, people, uh, you know, certain elite group of people. Um, in some ways, it is an expensive sport compared if you compare it to equipment. But um, tennis, uh, football, and cricket have always been more popular a sport in most parts of the, you know, our country, not just Goa, but actually. cricket is very popular all over India. Tennis is also quite popular, just that in Goa. My goal to start an academy was to give players a chance to play, not keeping the price too expensive. So, you know, I really hope more players um, can play the sport. Just not, maybe not win a Grand Slam, but play the sport because it's such a beautiful sport. Right. So, uh, basically, uh, you have uh, said that the situation, the uh, scenario is much better than when you started out in tennis in Goa. So I think now the onus uh, is also on the corporates to come forward and you know help uh, the youngsters to ease their financial burden, isn't it? Sure, I think I'm so grateful to the House of Dempos because I think only because of them I could take my choose to take tennis as a choose tennis as a career for so many years. Um, you know, corporate supporting makes a world of difference to uh, to youngsters to achieve their dream because most parents, not all parents, are financially um, you know uh, able to afford players traveling and staying uh, in different hotels, stay, uh, you know, transport, accommodation. They're so they're such expenses, but corporates can really um, you know. Uh, Use that, uh, the, you know, use use their CSR also as uh, a way to promote uh, sports and encourage and help uh, youngsters.